Hello, Steve here, also known as Husky Dog on Cafe Husky. Making a short video today about Kickstarter installation. Uh, there's been uh, some threads on the, on the forum there about how difficult it is or how complicated or voodoo arts required or anything, but uh, it's really not that bad at all. So I'm just going to install a Kickstarter here on, uh, on the primary Kickstart style Huskies. That's about 1981 and later. All right, step by step. Here's a aluminum clutch or a magnesium clutch cover. This is part of the your Kickstarter problems. They're uh, they're breaking, failing, cracking, and uh, that's contributing to Kickstarter uh, failures. So I'll make sure your cover's in good shape. Uh, there's lots of things to look for, but we'll just get to the installation. All right, first thing, you need to install your spring retainer plate. Underneath that uh, retainer plate, there's two aluminum spacers. Um, make sure they're underneath there. I've, I've taken off lots of covers where these were missing for some reason and nothing lined up of course. Um, that's going to contribute to your uh, Kickstarter rolls. So put your spacers underneath, install your plate, two screws, make sure you lock tight those uh, in place. Okay, here's a cover with the plate already installed. Um, Kickstarter shaft. What do we got here? There's uh, different uh, styles of shaft. The earliest ones were a two-piece shaft. Then they went to a, a one-piece. And then the later ones, they were a one-piece with an additional uh, O-ring groove. Uh, keep the oil on the right side. So, make sure your bore is good shape. Make sure your shaft is in good shape with a good bearing surface. There's a small spring that pulls the, the pawl. There's, uh, there's your engagement pawl. The uh, later ones, around 84, they went to about 10 millimeters wide, just slightly wider than the old style. And when you get your spring and Kickstarter installed, this is about where it's going to ride. Okay, um, we'll get to that right now. Springs, here's a new old stock spring. You see the tabs more or less line up across from each other. Some of the older springs, let's see if we've got an old one. You can see they, they start to get farther apart as the, the spring gets tired. All right. So one end of the spring hooks into the plate. Shaft goes on. And the other end of the spring goes into this uh, hole on the shaft. Now, what we need to do is uh, Wind that spring up, load it, and install the, the Kickstarter lever. This is uh, this is not that difficult. Just uh, grab yourself, uh, put the soft jaws on the vise, clamp that into the vise. Hopefully, that's going to show up on the on the video. Now you need to. Uh, hold the cover against the shaft because as you wind it up that spring wants to push things apart. So you bring that around, just pull the pawl out slightly so it makes it past the plate. There you go. And then you can release on the spring but still holding the cover in place. You're ready to install your kickstart lever. And the uh, snap ring. The snap ring's in rough shape. Should have a new one on there. And release. Now, there she goes. Make sure you got a good rubber bumper. 
there's different styles of bumpers and, and holders for the different style of Kickstarter levers. Your lever has got your springs tension to return it. The pawl is about here on the plate. So we're going to put the bearing on. The Kickstarter gear. So it takes a fair bit of rotation before that kicker engages. So, so that's where it's uh, it's engaging. There's a fair bit of rotation before you get there. If you want a little bit earlier engagement, what you can do is you can grind just a little bit off this plate so that the uh, pawl, when it rotates around, it goes out and engages sooner. Uh, I'd caution against uh, taking too much. If you try to move the lever one spline over on the shaft for earlier engagement, it'll be too far over and the pawl will be already starting to come out and you'll have uh, you'll have a failure that way. So that's how you install a Kickstarter mechanism on the uh, primary kick 81 and later Huskies. Anybody has any ideas or suggestions or if I've screwed something up horribly, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.